Welcome back. Today I'm looking at a program called Matchware Mind View for mind mapping, and I'm going to show you how to integrate it with Sortero, which is a referencing client. You can actually create a mind map, structure it, break it down, and then cite your work by importing all your sources from Sortero that integrates into Mind View. Now I want to show you how to do that and a couple of methods of doing that. So first thing I need to do is actually create a mind map. So open up Mind View. Select my map top left and let's just pop something in there. So if I look at my, if I go to my Sortero client, you can see I've got history. So why don't we do European history or Vikings? Let's do European history because that's what I've got the research for. So I've popped in European history, tap on it once to create your first paragraph or chapter. Double tap or click the enter key. Let's just call this introduction. And double tap again to create your second paragraph and we should just call this paragraph two and there we get the idea with that you work clockwise one o'clock all the way around we come to the top and the ribbon you've got numbering scheme you can select that as well now on introduction i'm going to double tap the corners to create two sub paragraphs i can break down my introduction down on european history so the first thing i might want to talk about maybe And the end part of my first paragraph, I might want to start talking about. And there we go. By the way, if you click on European, do a two finger tap or right click, you can correct that quickly to capitalize it. So there we go. We've got a draft or structure to create an assignment on European history. Now, this is a bit I want to show you. I'm going to integrate this with Sortero so I can put in the sources and cite my work as I create it visually. So let's open up Sortero. Now I've got them all here. First thing you need to do before you can do anything else is come up to edit and select preferences. Then I want you to sign in or create an account. It's free and you're allowed up to 300 megabytes of storage up there, which is enough if you're just storing your sources up there without the PDFs and various files. So I'm just going to log in. And I'm in. Once you create libraries online, you'll have multiple libraries to use here. So bear that in mind. So I'm going to select it and you'll see that yourself. Click OK and click OK. Right, now I'm good to go. Next thing, actually, if you've not used this before, go back to preferences and select about syncing. Because all your sources are synced up into this server here. Go to web library. And there's my libraries there. History. So anything I add on my client, on my PC, will sync up into the cloud, if you like, the server for Sortero. So now let's see if we can sync that information into MindView. So I'm going to drag that, lock it into the right, and I'm going to open up Mind Mapping. I'm going to scroll so you can actually see the map as well. So first, I need some source to cite. So I've got loads of sources here. So I've got Vikings, but I don't want Vikings. I want European history. So I'm just going to double tap in the middle and open up one of those journals. Instead of, instead of typing it out, I'm just going to copy some of the abstract just to cite to show you. That will do. Control C. And I'm going to paste that into my note that I've added for my mind map. Control V. Now ready to cite it, but again, I've got no sources in there yet, have I? This is what we do. While you're in the text note at the bottom, Click Citation and click Manage Sources at the bottom. Now it's asking you what you want to connect to, which client. I've got Sortero I'm currently using, Mendeley, which is a very, which is another good referencing client, WorldCat, where you can search online, specifically, directly, or manual entry. So I'm going to go for Sortero. And there we go. There's my sources. But the problem I find with this is it just gives you random sources. I don't want volcanoes or and I can't change that at all. So I found a better way of integrating it. Click OK. So we want to work specifically with European history. So why don't I right click on that folder I want to work with and select export. Export it as an RIS file. Leave everything default and select OK. I'm going to save that to my desktop and select save. 
Now I've got all those sources in a file. So now what I can do is add them to my view specifically. So I'm going to maximize my view and again, citation, manage sources, but this time import. So I want to import the specific sources for my essay. Select import and then on your desktop, it should be that file. There it is. You in history, open it and you'll have that one file in there. Just tap it. And there you go. There's my sources. So now select OK. So now I'm ready to cite my work. Cursor at the end. Select insert citation. I just choose a random one here. So I'm going to select that, for example. If it's a book, don't forget you need to add a page number in that you're citing from and select insert. And there's my in-text citation. And I'll do one more for you. I'll go to Wars, second part of my paragraph and introduction. And again, I'm going to open up Sortero. With one of those sources here, I might as well. Let's go Modern European History. And again, I'm not going to type that. I'm just going to copy a bit of journal information. That would do. Control C. And again, I'm going to pop that in the second part of my first paragraph on introduction. Cursor at the end, and I need to cite my work. So, citation. Insert citation, choose the one you want, I can't remember, so that would do. Actually, I'll do the one underneath and select insert. And again, you can see the in-text citation. But bear in mind, I know it doesn't look like an in-text citation. It will when you export it, so bear that in mind. So once you've written your essay, it's all structured and organized. Close that little note. We can now go to the top. Let's center that. Right, once you've done it all, something else you need to do really important. Let's open up the note. Now come to the top, go back to citation and manage sources. And I want you to delete what you don't want now. So I don't need that one. That one I'm holding control down by the way, so I can select ones. They're the only two I've used there. Now I can select delete source there. And click OK. Now I'm ready to export it. So, file. Export to Word, Microsoft Word. Make sure you use custom. You can choose Harvard. This has, doesn't actually choose your reference style. It just gives you a format. But choose something simple because you don't really want smooth, do you, with colored headers and footers. If you're APA or Harvard's fine. Go to General. This is the bit you need to look at. Normally, you send it for assignment. Untick, include map image. You don't need it. Table of contents I shall leave in there and also I shall leave title page. By the way, if you click document information, you can change what you want in that title page. This is the bit I want you to look at here. Now, if I click into Microsoft Word styles, scroll down. You've only got one Harvard. Now, you might be using APA, which we've got here, but you might use the 6th or 7th edition. You might be using Oscola, which is not there. Or, as I said, different variation of Harvard. No problem. Come to the right. Select that little tick and select search on the right here. Type in a reference style you want. Pop in Harvard. I've already chosen to cite them right because that's a star standard Harvard referencing system. I think more university and colleges are now trying to stick to one reference style more to make it easier for students because it's quite a challenge to, to cite and reference and select. And again, choose your reference style. Now we're done. Just select export to send to Word. European history, I'm happy with that. Select save. I'm going to overwrite my demo copy. Select open document. Yes, 20 links in there. Of course, we want to update table contents. So, this is my title page European history. Scroll down. There's my table contents. Again, you can untick that before you export if you don't want it. There's the work. Introduction, paragraph one birth of Europe. Can you see the in-text citation? And my second in-text citation. And there you go at the bottom. There's my reference list in alphabetical order. So that's how you integrate them both and still create your reference list at the end. Next, I'm going to show you how to use Mendeley. Now we're going to look at Mendeley and integrating it into MindView. So the same principle exists. Open up Mendeley. If I maximize it for you, 
When you use Mendeley, you must sign in and add a password. So you have to sign in and add a password before you can use it. But what that does automatically, if I come up to the option here, it automatically logs you in and syncs you online. So you can sync all your sources and share them and store them. There's a syncing button so you can then sync your files automatically, but I need to import them into MindView. So again, click on the option here. See if we can integrate Mendeley with it into MindView. Go to Citations. As before, Manage Sources. This time, select Mendeley. Sign in. And there we go. There's my sources that you saw that I had in Mendeley. Now it works the same way. I'm happy with that. Tick what you want and select OK to add it to your database for the essay. Remember what we did in Sortero. I can manually choose the ones I want to export. Choose your format. So I'm going to choose RIS and then I can pop that on my desktop and import them like we did with Sortero. So if I actually open up my view, I could go to import, import again. There's my sources, double tap them, and you can import them that way as well. So there's multiple ways of importing them. Click OK. So let's do the same thing. So I need to find a source to cite. So I'll do the same with Mendeley. So what shall I open up? Here we go. See on the right, we've got the abstract. So I'm going to copy a bit of the abstract. Anything would do. Control C. And I'm going to pop that into my first note or my first part of my paragraph. Control V. And now I'm ready to cite it. Same as we did with Sortero. Select Insert Citation. Choose your source and select Insert. And it's cited. But remember to do the same thing we did before. The sources you don't want to use, go back to Manage Sources, and then just highlight the sources you don't want and delete them. That way, when we export it to Word, it only exports the reference list you want. Let me show you. I'm going to go to Export, Microsoft Word, Custom again, as we did before. I think everything's the same there. Yep, but I need my reference style because this is a new map. And I'm going to choose a different reference style this time just to show you. So I'm going to go for Oscola Law. And that's going to have to do with law, but just to show you, which is a footnote in reference. Select. And then follow what it says. Export. Save. And click Open Document. Click Yes. OK in table of contents and again we get the same outcome. We've got a title page, we've got the map, table of contents and USA which is referenced with your bibliography at the bottom. Actually that's not footnoting, I chose the wrong one but proper scholar law will be footnoting but you can choose any reference style you want and still get the final outcome. I hope that helps with you integrating Mendeley and Sortero. But one last thing I want to show you if you're into using mind mapping and matchware. Open up a note for me. So it appears at the bottom. Tap on the link. Go to Manage Sources again. You've got an option here, WorldCat, or you can manually enter a reference you want. So if I select WorldCat, I can type in what I'm looking for. I just put generally put history in. Choose which types. I say I'm looking for a book and select search. And this will search the WorldCat catalogue where there's millions of different sources. And I could go down, find the one I want to use, select, and there's a the source information. Anything missing, you can always add to it in there. Click OK. So you can also add additional sources while you're working within MindView and Matchware. So it's really a powerful option. Thanks for watching.